welcome to Afghan Knit Along Week 1 using the Pure Wool Worsted. Um, the first square is the garter weight square. Oh, Martin, and what um, techniques do you need to um, use for the garter wave square? Uh, it's simple stitch techniques, which include the garter stitch, as we've just mentioned, which is all knit stitches, and stocking stitch, knit and purl stitches. So it's really designed for the beginner knitter? Absolutely, yes. And um, if I don't actually have anybody to um, teach me um, how to do garter stitch or, or stocking stitch, is there anywhere I can go for a tutorial? Yes, if you go to our video tutorials, all these techniques can be found on knitrowan.com. You check your tension before you actually knit the square. Um, if your tension is too tight, then you need to go down, uh, sorry, go up a needle size, or if it's too loose, go down one needle size. And so you then end up with exactly the right size square? Yes, yes, absolutely, but always check it first. And how are these actual patterns going to be written? Will they be charted or will they be written out? Um, you can follow the pattern from either a chart or a written pattern, which will show you the repeat row by row. And could, I'd just be interested to know, how do you go about designing something like that? Um, well, normally what I will do, I will actually um, knit a small section of the square um, just to see how the stitches work. And from that, um, using, using tension, um, I create a chart um, and this chart will be used in the actual finished pattern or as I said, it will also be written as well so you can follow it row by row. Um, and the, I must mention the shades used in this square are Red Current 120 and Grasshopper 130 and you will need one ball of each. And I guess, like me, if your eyes are really bad, that chart can be blown up. It can, yes. It's easy enough to blow it up on the photocopier. Great. Okay, let's get knitting. Thank you.